The Nikon Z6 II can do some amazing night photography. And in this video, I'm going to show any beginner how. And we're going to go through some deep menu options, and I'm going to get you set up for what I call night vision. You are going to need a flashlight and a tripod, and I'm going to assume that you're using the kit lens that came with your camera. So let's begin by turning our camera on, and now we're going to place it in manual mode. It's right here on your mode dial. We're going to be setting the camera's ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. The first value we're going to change is ISO. There's a lot of different opinions about ISO and night photography, but as a beginner, ISO 4000 seems to be the right balance. To change the ISO on your camera, press and hold the ISO button on the top of the camera. When you spin the back command dial, you're changing the ISO values. Let's get this set to 4000. Then while your finger is still holding the ISO button, spin the front command dial to turn auto ISO to off. Next, we're going to set aperture. For night photography, you want the widest aperture possible. The first thing we're going to do is make sure our lens is wide open. This way, we also get the most sky. These values here are called f-stops. The lower the f-stop value, the wider the aperture. So we're going to spin our front command dial. Let's get this value down to 3.5. The aperture value is regulated by your lens. There are some lenses out there that will have an even wider aperture, and we'll cover those at the end of the video. As a beginner, you're going to set your ISO to 4000 and set your aperture to 3.5 no matter what. The next setting we're going to change is shutter speed, and this is going to depend on the conditions you have. If you have a full moon, you might be able to shoot a 5 second exposure. If there's no moon and no clouds, you're probably going to have to shoot a 30 second exposure. So let's get our camera set up to 30 seconds. To change your shutter speed, spin your back command dial. When you see these values, those are fractions of a second. When you start seeing the inches symbols, that means seconds. So one inch is one second. We're going to spin all the way to 30 inches to get a 30 second exposure. And that's why this is the easiest night photography class you'll ever take. You're either going to shoot a 30 second exposure. If it's overexposed, you're going to try a 25 second exposure. And then 20, 15, 13, 10, 8, 6, or 5. One of those shutter speeds will give you the correct exposure for most night photography. If you're doing these camera settings at home, you have probably noticed that the back of your screen is all white. The Nikon Z6 II has a feature called exposure simulation. When you get out into the country in the middle of the night, you will no longer see the white screen. Before you take your first shot, we are going to have to set up your camera for manual focus. To do this, press the I button on the back of the camera. When this menu shows up, we're going to scroll down to the area where it says focus mode. Then we're going to hit the OK button. We're going to choose the option called MF. This stands for manual focus. Press the OK button and you're set. Now let's touch our shutter button to get back to the main screen. Now let's look at the lens. There's two rings on here, a zoom ring and a focus ring. For your zoom ring, let's just make sure your lens is open wide. And with your focus ring, you're going to notice things will go in and out of focus when you play with it. You can use a flashlight if you need to, to assist you. And I also made an entire video how to manually focus with this camera. There's a lot of surprises and hacks that'll make this process much easier. Now you're all set up for your first shot. Just put your camera on a tripod, compose your image, and press the shutter button. Your camera's going to take a 30 second exposure. Then all you have to do is keep changing the shutter speed until you get the correct exposure. It's that simple. So let's save these settings to our camera. On your mode dial, you're going to notice U1, U2, and U3. Let's save these settings to user 1. To do this, press the menu button. Now we're going to scroll down to the setup menu. On this page, there's an option that says Save User Settings. Press OK to select it. Now you're going to select Save to U1 and then Save Settings. Once you've done this, you just have to put your camera to user one and your camera settings will already be set up for you. Because the hardest thing about night photography is staying up. 
The second hardest thing about night photography is operating your camera in the dark with cold wind, mosquitoes, and creepy sounds. By programming some of your buttons, you're going to simplify this process. So let's try something I call night vision. This isn't an official Nikon feature, it's just something I use. With night vision, you can often see better on the back of the camera than you can with your own eyes. This is great for setting up composition. So all we're going to do is crank up our settings really high. We're going to leave our camera at a 30 second exposure, and our aperture is going to stay at 3.5, but we're going to crank up the ISO to the highest value it can go. So let's press our ISO button and spin the back command dial until we see high 2.0. Night vision is an amazing hack. On a moonlit night, it's so easy to see where you're going by looking at the back of your camera. On a night with no moon and no clouds, night vision only has a modest improvement when you're using the kit lens that came with your camera. If you have a lens with an even wider aperture, even on moonless nights, you're gonna get amazing results by using night vision. And on nights with full moon and snow, it's so bright on the back of the camera, I don't even need a flashlight to walk around. You're going to find night vision to be very handy. And then I save these settings to user 3. So I went back into the menu, Setup menu, Save user settings, Save to user 3. Now when I go shooting at night, I put my camera to user 3 just to get my composition set up. And once I'm ready, then I put my camera back to user 1 and my night photography settings are already here. Then I just have to focus and hit the shutter button. And it gets even easier. Nikon also has touch shutter, so you don't have to use the shutter button. Once you enable touch shutter, you can start an exposure by gently touching the LED screen on the back of your camera. To set up touch shutter, look for this icon on your screen. Every time you press it, you're gonna have a different option. You can turn this off. But we're going to look for the option called Touch Shutter Touch AF. And that's all you have to do to enable Touch Shutter. Nikon also has a new feature called Extended Shutter Speeds. You can go beyond 30 seconds up to 15 minutes once you enable this. If you don't see this option in your deep menu, you're going to have to do a firmware update. I put a link to the firmware update in the description below. But either way, you're going to have to enable this feature before you can use it. So let's go into our menu button. This time we're going to choose the custom settings menu. And then we're going to choose shooting and display. If you have the firmware update, you're going to see an option called extended shutter speeds. So let's scroll down and hit the OK button. We want to make sure this feature is turned on. And that's all you have to do. Now let's touch our shutter button to get back to your main screen. Now when you play with your back command dial, now you can go beyond 30 seconds. There's 60 seconds, 90 seconds. It goes all the way up to 15 minutes. If you are going to be using extended shutter speeds, I do recommend you lower your ISO values to compensate for this. When I shoot beyond 60 seconds, my ISO is between 1 to 400. There is another option for irregular shutter speeds. The first option beyond 900 seconds is called Bulb. When you're in Bulb mode, you can start an exposure and end it whenever you want. It could be 45 seconds or even 45 minutes. If you don't have a release cable, you are going to have to make sure you have touch shutter enabled. In Bulb mode, you just have to touch the screen to start an exposure. And then when you want to end the exposure, gently touch the screen again. That's all you have to do. Some other handy features with the Nikon Z6 II is the fact that you have an articulating screen. So if you don't want to use the mode dials to change the values on your camera, you can use the articulating screen and change your values this way. And you may already know this, but your screen does pull out so you can put this in a more comfortable position. There are a couple lens options that will make night photography even easier with the Nikon Z6 II. I use the Art Sigma 20mm 1.4 aperture lens, but this lens requires the adapter to use with this camera. Nikon also makes a 20mm lens with an aperture value of 1.8, and this lens is designed for this camera. And the Nikon lens will let in four times more light than the kit lens that came with this camera. 
This makes night photography much easier. And if you're ever gonna do Milky Way or dark sky photography, you probably should upgrade your lens. I put these lenses in the description below. And when you have these lenses, night vision is gonna be even better. In fact, these lenses are so good, when you're in video mode, you can record video on bright moon nights. I can't believe I'm filming myself with this camera and lens. Even the video with this camera is amazing at night. But if you are a beginner to night photography, I do highly recommend you start shooting when there's a 30% moon or brighter or very low clouds. And then once you get experience doing a basic, simple astral landscape, then you can start shooting for different night events and experimenting with different apertures and ISO. And when you're done at the end of the night, there's two things you must do. You grab a really bright flashlight and make sure you brought everything home with you. The second thing is, get your camera ready for tomorrow. So I always put my camera back to manual mode. Then I switch my camera back to autofocus and your default ISO should be set to 100 with auto turned back on. I also have an entire series of Nikon Z6 II night photography video. So you can learn how to manually focus at night, do urban dark photography, and time-lapse videos, the features already built in. If you do have any questions or comments about this video, please leave it in the comment section. And thank you so much for joining me tonight.